Hey everybody, today I'm going to review Black & Decker's 3 8 inch 20 volt drill along with the brand new Smart Tech battery pack. Now this battery pack will be compatible with all the other 20 volt power tools as well as outdoor power equipment in Black & Decker's lineup. It's not a new battery platform, it's just upgraded technology. Specifically, the features that they have built into the Smart Tech battery make it more versatile and safer to use. And it has a USB port on the top that will allow you to double it as a power source, as well as Bluetooth capabilities, allowing you to locate it or even lock it. So what I want to do in this video is give you some closer up looks at the drill as well as the battery pack. We're going to see exactly how they operate, and then we're going to see how they actually perform. If you pick up one of the kits, what will be included is the drill, a removable double-sided bit, a one and a half amp hour smart tech battery, as well as a compact battery charger. Here's a closer look at the drill, and I want to point out right off the bat that the dark orange portion you see is a very hard plastic, and then the black portion extending around the grip, on the side bumpers, and around the top of the housing is made out of a softer rubber overmold. It's very lightweight, coming in with the battery pack at only two pounds, nine and a half ounces. And the overall dimensions is just over six and a half inches long, eight and a half inches tall, and then just over three inches wide. At the base of the grip, you can see bit storage as well as an LED light. Now there's no time delay on this LED light. It's activated anytime you hold it on the trigger. And if you just barely press it on the trigger, you'll notice the chuck does not turn. But then if you press it on it anymore, it will start turning. As soon as you release that, the LED light is gonna automatically go off. So in a low light situation, if you just barely press in on it, it will illuminate what you're working on and it will double as a flashlight, allowing you to easily line up what you wanna drill into. The battery is on a slide rail system, this large orange button on the front. You'll just press that down to release it and it will slide right off. You can then charge the battery up or swap it out with another one. Line it back up with the bottom of the tool and when you hear the click, it's going to be locked in and ready to go. The chuck is going to be a 3 8 inch keyless chuck, which means you can grab onto it and tighten it down around a bit. However, it is not ratcheting and there's nothing internally that would prevent it from turning. They have a separate ring on the rear of the chuck that you have to hold on to to prevent it from turning as you tighten the front portion. And unlike a standard keyless ratcheting chuck that will lock in place, and then when you turn it, you can actually hear clicks. This one, if you turn it, it's actually going to move on you. You can see that rear ring is also turning along with the front. You would need to hold onto that with your hand grab onto the front of the chuck and turn in the opposite direction to tighten the jaws around your bit. It only has one speed or power mode, however it does have a variable speed trigger, meaning how hard you press in on the trigger will increase or decrease the amount of speed that the motor is going to turn, and it will allow it to go between 0 and 650 RPMs. So if you want to go very slow, you'll just barely press in on the trigger. And then to go very fast, you would press in on it all the way. Now just above that trigger, you can notice a black switch. With it all the way to the left, it's going to be in forward. With it all the way to the right, it would be in reverse. And then the center position is actually a trigger lock that will allow you to prevent the trigger from being pressed in, draining the battery, and activating the tool. Behind the chuck, you'll notice another black ring that has numbers printed on it as well as a symbol. This is how you'll adjust your clutch settings, and there are 11 different possible things that you can select. There's 1 through 10, and that's your clutch settings that will limit the amount of power from the motor into the chuck. And then to override that, we can move to our 11th setting, which would be drilling mode. This is a picture of a drill bit, and it's putting full power from the motor into the chuck. So let's say you're driving screws, you would want to be in the driving modes. And really, the bigger number you see, it means that more power is going from the motor into that bit. And for very small or fine screws, you would want to rotate that back to a very low number. This won't allow you to overdrive or strip something out, and you really need to fine tune it to what you're working on. To show you why it's beneficial to use the clutch settings and not only rely on that variable speed trigger when you're working on something, what we don't want to do in this case is overdrive the screw, damaging what we're working on. I put a 2x4 in the vise, and we have two coarse thread drywall screws. 
What we'll do first is use the clutch settings on clutch mode seven, which is gonna prevent us from overdriving the screw. And you'll see exactly what happens when the additional resistance is met, when the head of the screw meets the surface of the wood. You notice that it did not overdrive the screw and did not damage the wood that we were working with. Now we'll go ahead and rotate that up to drill mode, which would be full power. We'll do the exact same thing using the exact same screw and see what happens. You can see it sunk it below the surface, damaging what we're working on. And if I didn't release the trigger in time, this could happen very easily. Because with the first screw, we did use the clutch settings. It prevented us from overdriving and it automatically killed power to the chuck when the additional resistance was met. Alternatively, if you are gonna be drilling holes, then make sure the drill is selected on drill mode on the clutch ring. This will override the clutch settings, putting full power from the motor into the bit and will allow you to do things like drill holes very easily. But if you have the clutch engaged, what's gonna happen when you try to actually drill a hole? It's gonna cut off because it's gonna meet that resistance. So you really wanna match up the clutch settings or override the clutch settings depending on what you're working with. And in this case, with drilling a hole, you would wanna override that, putting full power into the bit, allowing you to easily get through the piece of wood. Here's a closer look at the 20 volt SmartTech battery. And on the outside, it does look very similar to the standard 20 volt battery, except it does have a USB port on the top and then a button on the side. What this will allow you to do is take any USB device, such as this iPhone, take the cable, plug it into that USB port, and then when you press the button on the side, it will power the port up, automatically charging what you have plugged in. Anytime you see that light blinking, it means that power is going to the USB plug. So even if you remove the cable, power is still gonna be going to that plug and it will eventually drain your battery down slightly. So what we'll do is go ahead and just press that button again. You'll hear a beep, the lights will stop flashing and that means at this point, no power is going to the USB plug and it's not draining down your battery. When you connect the battery with the app, this will allow you to fully control it. It will also tell you what the current battery status is. In this case, it's 100% charged, and we can go ahead and lock the battery at this point. Now, right now it's unlocked, meaning when I hold it on the trigger, you can see the drill will operate. If we lock the battery pack, at that point, we can go ahead and press in on the trigger and nothing's gonna happen other than the LED light will come on. To unlock it, it's as simple as pressing the button again. It will automatically unlock the battery pack and we could then use the drill. Using the locate option, it will make the battery beep as well as that LED light on the Bluetooth button blink so we can easily find it, especially if it's locked in a toolbox like this. You can hear it beeping. We can look in each drawer and then when we open the drawer where it is beeping, we're gonna see the light blinking as well as the audible sound. To turn that off, we can press cancel, and that means that we found it, and now we can go ahead and use our drill. The app will also allow you to activate the USB port. Now right now it's not activated because you don't see a light blinking. And instead of having to press that button in, we can press the orange button on the screen. It's gonna turn on the USB port. And then after six hours, it will automatically kill power to it. If you wanna turn it off in the meantime, you can either press this button or turn it off through the app and it will automatically kill power to the USB port. The charger will slide right on the battery and it also has an LED light to tell you what the status is. If we have an intermittently blinking red light, it means that the battery is overheated. A fast blinking red light means that the battery is defective. A slow blinking green light means that it's charging and a solid green light means that it's fully charged. So we'll go ahead and take it, place it on the battery, and you can see that it is now blinking slowly green. That means that it's automatically charging the battery pack. And you also wanna note that it stops before that USB port. So we could activate the USB port, plug our cell phone in this at the same time the battery pack's charging. And then we would not only be charging our battery, but also the mobile device that's plugged into that port. The SmartTech battery is also gonna be compatible with all the other 20 volt power tools. 
We'll go ahead and just click that in place. And then with the cordless circular saw, we can go ahead and make a cut through this two by four. Now for a runtime test, I have a fully charged battery pack as well as a 3 8 inch drill bit. We're gonna see how many holes we can put through a standard two by six on just one charge. Three hundred and thirty three eighth inch holes into a two by six on one one and a half amp hour battery charge. So now you've seen Black and Decker's three eighth inch twenty volt drill, along with the brand new Smart Tech battery pack for yourself. Now I actually bought this at my local Lowe's, and the combo kit is going to be a lot better deal than just buying the battery pack by itself. The battery pack alone is seventy dollars. However, if you buy it as part of the combo kit with the drill as well as that small charger, it only increases the price to $80. So for 10 bucks extra, you can get a drill as well as an additional charger. And even if you're already part of Black & Decker's 20 volt lineup, that still makes a lot of sense. Now these battery packs are going to be compatible with all the other tools in that 20 volt lineup. It's not a new battery platform, it's just an upgraded battery design with the Smart Tech batteries. They'll also power the 20 volt outdoor power equipment such as a string trimmer. And because you can connect to them via Bluetooth, you can locate it or lock it very easily just by using your phone. Now the USB port on the top of here is really handy, especially if you're traveling or camping. You can plug a USB cord in the top, press the button on the side, and automatically start charging up your phone. And the entire Black & Decker cordless lineup has a 30-day money-back guarantee and then a two-year warranty. So if you have a problem with it during that time frame, Black & Decker will fix or replace it for you free of charge. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.